Greetings and salutations on this fine Saturday, November 12th. Saturday, November 12th. You see, um, this weekend we just had Hurricane Nicole pass over. That was, uh, that was yesterday. It was really just a tropical storm. Probably wasn't even much more than a conglomeration of thunderstorms by the time it passed over. But we got plenty of rain from it. And the sun has reemerged. Magnificent and glorious as always. And the blue sky. Lovely. So, uh... Let's see, nothing particularly special this weekend, although uh, I have been making preparations, temporary preparations, of course, everything out here seems to be temporary, for getting the generators out of the trailer and, uh, and under the trailer, since their appropriate location is by the electrical supply trailer, and I need to get both of them running. I tried yesterday uh, and failed. Ismaili also to find that uh, I, well, of course, after sitting for three years, um, the gas had spoiled, so I had to empty out both gas tanks, uh, remove the gas tanks. Now I'm going to need to break down the carburetor on this little 4,000 watt and uh, take a whole bunch of pictures in that process. And then... Uh, I will move on to this one. Of course, uh, I want to get one running at a time since uh, I'm scatterbrained and uh, poorly organized when it comes to stuff like this. And um, But I will try and document it to the best of my ability and uh, should be easy enough. Anyway, they're, they're nice and easily accessible under here under the trailer. And uh, as you can see, I put a couple of just two by fours or pallet struts for uh, tracks and they slide nice and easy on those tracks. Ultimately, I think I'd like to install something you know with wheels on it tracks with wheels um or bearings you know something that uh just slides right out nice and easy like uh the modern day kitchen cabinets and shelving and so on and so forth but uh that's another project for another day anyway so this is the project for today and yesterday was just uh clearing this out and dismantling the small um wood organizer that i had built out of scrap pallet material and so i dismantled that did uh, use four of those pieces for these tracks and then burned the, burned a majority of the rest. Um, uh, they were just short pieces kind of situated like that. This is a nicer version of the original version that I did. But anyway, uh, moving forward, the sun has reemerged once again from the cloud. Uh, getting some nice charge on the panels up top. Uh, and I added two yesterday that have been sitting around waiting for a while. Uh, those didn't budge in the winds, and we didn't have tremendously high winds or anything from Nicole, but uh, they're doing a great job now, getting a full, getting a full 260-somewhat uh, input, uh, which is magnificent. Anyway, so it's been a gorgeous weekend. Um, the weather has been magnificent. I guess, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, the, uh, the strawberry towers are doing well, and the plantings that I took from down here on the ground have taken... And uh, they got lots of rain this weekend, once again, of course, from Hurricane Nicole. Uh, I've been doing some reorganization of the grow box and uh, out with the old, in with the new. The ladies are looking spectacular. Uh, they seem to be very happy in their conditions now. I'm going to attempt to do a sand thermal battery. which will be another video later on, um, which is a, a great way of keeping a small confined space warm in the wintertime. It's a uh, passive, so uh, the whole premise being just absorbing energy from the sun. It's stored in the sand, and the sand releases it slowly over time. And let's see, uh, things in the greenhouse look good. We've got a, a nice uh, new guy here I transplanted yesterday or earlier today. Uh, cabbages are doing about as well as they can do given the conditions that i've prepared for them unfortunately it's not optimum i need to bury them deeper uh let's see the uh butternut squashes seem to be doing fa fairly well our kiwi plant is kicking ass i mean just uh, fresh shoots you remember what it looked like or i remember what it looked like uh when it got here from the truck of course it lost all its leaves they're all back now um 
the soil bed is doing great the compost pile is full and will continue to fill the uh, figs and elderberries are doing just lovely although it looks like one of them lost all its leaves it has fresh buds fresh buds on the top some gunshots in the background love the country blueberries are doing well uh, we are becoming a alive and hopefully uh, one day thriving uh, circumstance here and of course the biogas digester is putting out a lot of liquid fertilizer which everybody seems to love and uh, the bag once again does not appear to be filling uh, and I've been making endeavors to feed it each day. I'm out here a uh, considerable amount of leaves and uh, bones and so on and so forth. So hopefully uh, it'll just take time and uh, eventually the bag will fill and, and start giving us uh, some of that sweet methane fuel. But uh, also another video, yes, another uh, another project down the road is a pyrolyzer using a uh, um, uh, paint can. Paint can pyrolyzer. Very cool stuff. Great way to make uh, fuel from wood. So, uh, with that being said, here's hoping you've had a magnificent weekend and enjoy the peace of nature as the wind blows.